Hey, y'all. Welcome to another episode of What's Cooking with Paula Dean. And the other day, I did some tips over recipes that I've made through the years that people seem to like. So I've just tried to um, give you some hints and tips, maybe, that I didn't have time to give you during the show. So I heard that y'all enjoyed it. So we're going to do this again. And today, I'm going to go through uh, making a cake with you that was just so much fun to make. I had been home to Albany, Georgia. We celebrated my best friend's mother's like 94th birthday. And this young lady from Albany had made uh, Ring Ring this beautiful cake. And when you sliced it, it was like all different colors all throughout the layers. And I thought it was so pretty. So I said, well, I wanted to show this to all my friends out there and uh, try my hand at it to see if I could do it. Well, I did it and it was so much fun. So I want to walk through with y'all how easy this beautiful, interesting rainbow of a cake, how easy it was to do. All right, now you can start with a box cake mix if you like, uh, or you can make your, your cake from scratch, which I really like the from scratch cake. But uh, the, the instructions that I'm going to give you today is for uh, just a basic yellow cake. And we're going to start with two sticks of butter that are have been brought to room temperature, two cups of sugar, four eggs, three cups of self-rising flour, a cup of milk, vanilla extract, and a, a teaspoon of almond extract. So we're going to cream our butter, which we brought to room temperature. We're going to cream it until it's nice and creamy. And then we're going to add our sugar to our, our beet butter. And we're going to whip those together until they're nice and creamy and smooth. And that'll take, you know, maybe five to eight minutes. But you'll want to cream it well. And then we're slowly going to add an egg, one at a time. And if you're using an electric mixer, it's so important that you have you a spatula that you can stop your motor, uh, that you can cut off your machine, lift your beaters up, and make sure you scrape around that bowl real good uh, because you'll want to make sure all that's incorporated. So we've got our three cups of self-rising flour and our one cup of milk on the counter. Now, we're going to start adding our flour and milk, and we're going to begin with flour, and we're going to end with flour. And I can't tell you why, but I know that's the way you're supposed to do it. It makes for a creamier, smoother blat, uh, batter when you start and end with flour. So I'll scoop up maybe a heaping fourth of a cup full. And I'll put that in my creamed mixture, and I'll beat that. And then I'll cut off my, my mixer, and I'll go around with my spatula, scraping all that goodie down so it gets all in the beaters of your, your mixer. So I'll do that until I have used all the milk and all the, the um, flour mixture. And then you'll want to take a teaspoon or two of vanilla extract. Now, I always use the real thing. Um, it's just easier, and it tastes so much better. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it to use a pure enough vanilla extract versus um, an artificial vanilla flavoring. And then I'll add in a teaspoon of almond flavoring, and you want to mix that just till it's incorporated. And then we're going to divide our batter. We've got three nine-inch cake pans. And um, I always take me wax paper. And I'll lay my pan on top of the wax paper. And I'll go around the edges with my scissors. Because I want to, um, I don't want my cake to stick to the pans. I want it to come out perfectly. So I'll cut me a piece of wax paper for each of my pans, and I will use um, 
a baking spray to spray around the edges and the bottom, and then I'll put my wax paper on it. Uh, the spray helps your wax paper from moving around on you. So I've got my three pans prepared. I've sprayed them, and um, I've put the, the wax paper down in the bottom of each of them so they, my cakes won't stick. There is nothing worse than spending your time and money and then your cake stick. I've had it happen and it's not fun. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you. And they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. All right, now here comes the fun part. We are going to take our batter and we're going to pour it into four separate bowls and try to try to mix it evenly as you can try to separate that batter of cake mix into four equal portions so then we're gonna use uh i have found that i love the gel food colorings y'all they are um really vibrant in their color so you'll want to mix up your favorite colors, naturally a red, a green, a blue. Um, and I love the purple color. The purple, it just reminds me of an Easter egg. I just love the vibrant color of purple. So we're going to color each of our bowls of batter. And then we're going to take our cake pan and we're going to spoon out a big dollop of batter, say a purple batter. And uh, on top of that, we're going to choose another color, say green. And we're going to put a spoonful of the green right into the middle of our perfect. Our, and we're going to put that right in the middle of our purple. And you can see as we add cake mix to your circle that it's eventually going to make it to the edge of your pan. All right, so we've got our purple down. We've put a big dollop of, say, green down. All right, on our next one, we're going to use a big old scoop of, say, pink, like the color of my sweat sweater. It's going to look like beautiful mush strawberries. And each time that layer of cake is going to move closer and closer to the edge until we have got enough batter in there to make a nice fat layer. And then we're going to go to our second pan and do it the same way. Uh, but you can mix up your colors. You can start with a yellow or a blue or a green or a purple, whatever color you want. And then just keep spooning batter on top of batter. And you'll watch your batter spread out in that pan. And when you take it out of the oven and cut into it, it's going to have all these beautiful rainbow colors in it. So we're going to bake that in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And there's a few ways that you can tell if your cake is done. You can put your finger in the center of it. And if it springs back, then you know your cake is done. And also, a good way to tell is when your cake is done, your cake will pull away from the sides of the pan. And you can very easily see that. So, you'll want to take this your cake pans out of your oven. And you'll want to let them rest for just a couple of minutes. 
And then I always, uh, I have a rack that, that uh, is actually in three pieces. It's, it's like an accordion. It will close up or open up. So I open my, my, my rack up and I take each cake and turn it out of the pan and put it on the rack, on my cooling rack. And you'll want to let it cool completely to room temperature uh, because once we ice it, you know, if the cake is warm, then it'll melt our icing. All right, so we've got our icing made, and that's two cups of, of butter at room temperature and four cups of confectionate sugar uh, beat together. And you'll want to add probably one to two tablespoons of milk to just get it to spreading consistency. But a little milk goes a long way with confectionate sugar, so you'll want to be real, real careful. Now that we've gotten it beat up well, we'll want to add uh, a teaspoon and a half maybe of vanilla flavoring or um, a little almond flavoring. I usually use a teaspoon of uh, vanilla and a teaspoon of almond. So your cake is, is ready to, to uh, frost and your children, your grandchildren, they are gonna just love slicing into that cake. But you know what they'll love even more? is helping you make the cake because it really is fun watching all those vibrant gel food colorings work together. I hope y'all like it, and I hope this has made it a little easier for you, but you gotta make that cake. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300.